Let me apologize. Uh, back up. I should have done this at the beginning. I apologize for my my bad presentation style and all of the pauses that I put in when I talk. Um, I try not to do it well with them, but it's um, something that I feel insecure about and a reason why I hate doing presentations. And I just hope that this is worthwhile enough that you can put up with me. I know people listen to Elon Musk, and I'm worse than him, but he's also quite a bit smarter than me, so at any rate, I apologize for the lack of flow in my thinking, and and I, I'm sure that if I prepared a script, it would it probably sound worse, to be honest. <laughs> I don't know why that is. I just am not really one to to talk much. Um, I'm good at arguing sometimes, but just being myself, this is the way I I think and talk, at any rate. Um, so we're, we're here in the back of the Model 3, and of course right now it's morning instead of night, but uh, I was going to point out a few things about this shelf. I mean, to me, I think this will be a a good place to put my contact lenses and maybe some, some, like a drink or whatever that I might eat in the middle of the night. That, that, you know, nothing's going to be, no arms can reach that easily unless they they're on purpose. So it seems like it's a pretty safe bet. Um, I've tried putting my laptop there, which is a 15 inch, and I'm not sure that's going to work for movie night in the car, but, uh, you know, just bringing it down, setting it on, you know, a cushion on our lap or something probably worked just as well. But, I mean, you could do it that way, but the screen is sort of not able to open all the way, so you're getting a, a really angled view of the screen, which depends on the movie, I guess. <laughs> anyway, the... Other things about the inside of the car, like um, my husband has sleep apnea, so we're going to be plugging the sleep apnea machine, which we've I've already done. I mean, we did that camping one that one time before, and plugged it into a um, an inverter. I have I don't remember where I got this inverter, but it's it's oops. <laughs> I'm also not very coordinated, so bear with me here. Um, I have all sorts of kinds of little electronic gadgets. That probably why I ended up with a Model 3. But anyway, any here's that uh, inverter, and it has, I mean, it, I don't recall it being terribly expensive, but it plugs into the cigarette lighter, and converts the DC power that's 12 volts that the cigarette lighter provides um, from this plug into an outlet. Well, it's got a USB outlet, as you can see there. But on the other side, it's also got... Uh, well, no, it's not on that side. Um, no, it's right there at the end. Okay, so there's the USB on one end, and then on the other end, if you can make it out, there's a, a three-prong plug outlet where we can plug in the his uh, machine I wasn't really sure about the amperage I'm not I'm not a rocket scientist about electricity I understand things in general but um, basically I wasn't sure what the amperage output of the cigarette lighter was but it, it worked just fine um, kept running all night the car didn't have any trouble running out of battery or anything like that. Um, now, I thought about, I mean, I probably could charge my laptop on this, maybe even run it, but what I found was I bought a, uh, a laptop charger off of Amazon, and it plugs in, also plugs into the, the 12 volt uh, cigarette outlet, for lack of a better description. 
Uh, it doesn't have cigarette lighters in them anymore, but that's what they used to have. Um, and then it became standard. Go figure. At any rate, this thing is supposed to be like up to the amperage of my uh, my laptop is actually not really a laptop. It's it's one of the um, kinds that is kind of more of a full computer and in a laptop form. So it needs, and rather than 65, it needs a 95 adapter, 95 uh, watt. And this claims to provide 95, but I'm, I'm guessing it must be limited by the, the amount of amps that are coming through the 12 volt because when I plug it into the computer, the computer says it doesn't have enough power to to do anything, um, you know, it says if the computer's shut down, you know, or sleeping, or basically the lid's closed, you might be able to charge it, but there's not enough uh, current going there to run the computer. Um, so, as I was saying, I if I plugged uh, like the cord, the you know, the, the standard AC cord into the, the inverter, it might be either draw too much power for the inverter or would be limited by the 12 volt one or the other. I'm not, um, I certainly don't like it when electronic things burn up, but uh, most generally things just don't work if there's not enough juice. So those are my sort of standby items for special needs. <laughs> If you consider sleep apnea a special need. Okay. I always have trouble with figuring out which side it's supposed to go. Okay, it's a nice little drawer, but I've seen the, the trapezoids. Excuse me. <coughs> okay, so where was I? We are in the back of the Model 3. We got the shelf. I've Also got uh, Costco had some uh, some of these. Uh, these go over the side windows to sort of provide extra privacy, and they're part of a package with uh, what you recognize more probably more easily. These this folds out and covers the entire windshield, and I bought I bought. The packaging didn't actually mention whether they fit. I mean, they had the Model S and the Model X, but they didn't have the Model 3. And I figured it was probably the same as the Model S, but then I also, I bought the larger one just in, because I thought it might come in handy for like putting, you know, screening in the back here to where it's not tinted. Um, now there's other, I've watched other people's videos where they sleep in the back of their cars and uh, some climates you might be more concerned about uh, the insulation capability of the, the materials and um, this isn't like thick but the side window things you know the whether the you know, I, I don't generally believe in uh, Manufacturers always claim their suction cups will, you know, work and not have any problems. But in real life, how often does that actually happen? But as long as the suction cups are working, you could also like hang a towel on that, and then you know, little, like a little hand towel, and have complete uh, blockage. But with the, I mean, even with the standard tint on these windows, it's kind of the way windows work. Unless there's illumination on the inside, it's kind of hard to see in. I don't know if you've ever noticed that walking by a house at night, if the lights are on inside, it's kind of like the everything inside is sort of like a TV set. You can see everything. But if the lights are off, the reflection of the glass keeps you from being able to see you know, through what's, what's happening. Um, so I think, you know, like, we're sleeping in here. People would have a hard time seeing us inside, basically. The roof is heavily tinted, and then adding those little extra uh, things in the side windows should make it like impossible practically, even though we can still see out. Um, 
it's not a main consideration for me. I, I'm not a super, uh, I've never been super paranoid about, you know, well, I don't like, yeah, I don't like being on stage, but I also don't, uh, I'm not paranoid about people seeing me, so, it, I mean, people have different feelings about that sort of thing, so, you, you need to take that in consideration, and I, I bought those mainly, well, I mean, I looked at the ones that are special made for the, for the Model 3, and they're, they're way expensive, um, where I think these ones from Costco, even though they weren't made specifically for the car, they're like $10 each, you know, that sort of thing. Um, which would you buy? I, you know, let's see. <clears throat> so we've, we've talked about the electricity. Oh, now when you go to sleep, I'm not sure, you know, because the, the app on the phone has, uh, let's see if I can get the phone unlocked. The app on the phone has, oh, oh how can I help? I didn't held it down too long. <laughs> let's see. Go away, Google. Yeah, okay. So you can help. Let's see. So, assuming your phone gets connected to the car, there it goes, um, you have the climate controls here, which um, basically you can set the temperature and turn it on and off, but it doesn't have the setting that says keep climate on, so I'm not sure whether turning it on with the app would be the same as doing it from the screen. So. Um, basically, when you're when you're parking the car, I think I would turn the the climate on at that point and not depend on the app. Um, what's nice about the app, though, is you can lock the doors uh, very easily with the the lock function there. Um, <clears throat> I've already got the car charged up for long distance, so. We're gonna go, this is a long distance, or a long range, or I, they call it, uh, two wheel drive, one of the original Model 3s, when that was all they were making. Um, love the car, it is very efficient. Um, I haven't actually got statistics to give you as far as, um, you know, how much, how many miles it will use overnight running the air conditioner at a temperature we find comfortable. Um, I, <clears throat> my understanding is I think the air conditioners actually uses less electricity than the heater. Um, so, but maybe after, hmm, phone has a little light. You can't see that without the camera. That's interesting. <laughs> it's checking if you're there, I guess. Um, uh, let's see. I wasn't talking about the phone. Um, <laughs> I get distracted sometimes. Let's see, oh, okay, yeah, setting up the car. The other thing was, okay, so you lock the doors, you've already had the climate set to keep on, um, you can change the temperature with the app, but somebody pointed out on one of their videos, and I, I don't, you know, it was, I've been watching all the ones that talk about sleeping in the Model 3, and it makes sense, you know, I'm not sure, don't think it actually worked that way when we tested it, but just to be on the safe side, <clears throat> before you go to sleep, I, you probably should go in and, and turn off Bluetooth on your phone because the Bluetooth key function is what allows, peop allows you to walk up to the car and open the car door and get in. Now, <clears throat> I say it didn't seem to work that way. When I was test, I mentioned I tested, uh, overnight just to see whether things were, were working or not and I didn't even tell my husband and he woke up and said where is Clyde and he was looking for me he came out to the garage and Gary Charles found me and I motioned him to you know well actually okay 
I don't think he had his phone with him. So, back up a minute. I'm not sure I was, I'm not sure I really, te what, he, what we tested was I had Bluetooth turned off and the car was locked and he couldn't get in. So, definitely you're safe if you turn the Bluetooth off. But if you leave it on, that allows uh, the car doors to be open. So, whether it would happen, f you know, with the phone inside the car, I don't know that it's that strong, you know, or whether the car is that smart to know whether the, the location of the phone. Certainly they did a lot of amazing things with the Model S and the Model X, like, you know, the self-presenting door handles only present when they they look and see the tra trajectory you're, you're approaching the car at, to f try to figure out whether you're going to actually want the doors open, that sort of thing. Um, <clears throat> they could do the same thing maybe with the full camper mode. Supposedly there's there's a camper mode that will still be coming out that um, may have extra features that just having keep climate on doesn't provide. Um, so you won't have to worry about whether your Bluetooth is on and somebody coming in opening your doors because your car thinks, hey, he's got the key. The key's right here, so anybody can drive. That sort of thing. Yeah, that's not really what you want. Now, they also mentioned that you you probably want to turn the security alarm off. That's more what I was thinking. We, When I tested, I forgot to do that. And I was in the car. The car seemed to know I was, I was there. And the security alarm did not get set off through the entire night. So either it was because Keep Climate was on was set, or the car knew I was actually inside the car, or for whatever reason, somehow it it knew that it didn't need to, to worry about my motion inside the car setting off the alarm. I think that's good to know. Um, I mean, you can certainly, you know, if you want 